in this tutorial we want to draw this ball here in Inkscape. I'm using Inkscape 1.0. So we'll start by going to our come here to the star and polygon tool and then choose polygon and give it corner six. You want to draw a six-sided polygon. So you draw something like this. Okay, make sure it's straight. You can check whether it's straight. Let me see whether it's, it's um, straight. Yeah, okay. It, it is. Oh. And then the next thing we'll do is that go to Object, Fill and Stroke. And then when this dialog box comes, if you have a stroke already fine if you don't just go to stroking for the stroke style give it one pixel more or less and change the if you um if yours is straight it's it's a continuous line come and give it a dashed line like this so we have something like this here now i would go to shift control and reduce this a bit okay now we uh, we select this and then we go to edit and then go to clone and go to create tile clones now we go to shift and then shift in x direction 50 because we want the next row to start if you look at this for example this um then the next row uh, starts under this uh, as if it is moved 50 percent so right uh, for the x put 50 and for the y right minus 25 and then we want to do five um here and five down here more or less so we need a five by five so choose five here and five and go to create now as you are in create tile clones come here and select this and then and um, go to alt and press again you see that you have objects as 25 tile clones that's the parent we selected we want to delete it so we can color the individual um, hexagons with different colors so just go on your keyboard and press delete to remove it now the next thing i want to do is to color them the hexagons so i would maybe want to use swatches i have it already removed um, i have it already open but if you don't have it open go to view and then go to swatches now this opens up yours might yours might not be this because maybe your you will be in the default which will be something like this sometimes also it opens and it's very small you uh, in case it's, it looks very small you can always extend it here and move this down now i will go back and choose maybe these colors and then with that chosen i start uh, coloring my thing I want I'll choose in any colors quickly for us to go on it's not necessary which color just to for us to know what to do okay so choose any colors at all you like so it goes a bit quicker The coloring is not really important anyway. Let's see here. I'm almost done, so please bear with me. Okay, I think this is okay. Now the next thing I will do is to select everything here and then you go to the stroke style and maybe we give it we make it uh, let's make it rather three uh, 0 0.3 millimeters okay 
let's see here to make it a bit uh, 0 0.3 millimeters and uh, let's change that um, this the straight to um, dashes so let's see maybe i choose let's try this dashes to see how it looks like yes choose that to make it dashes now we have this and then we want to draw a circle now so go for your uh, circle and ellipse to go to shift control and draw a circle more or less like this now don't, uh, the circle um maybe the circle at the edges here we leave it as it is or, or maybe now that we are here let's change it to i want to change it now to um a solid uh, without dashes and now let's reduce the boundary a bit to maybe um, one or so now we the the color of your circle if you give it maybe we choose a gray 30 percent gray it's so important now but we would need it later we select our circle and bring it somewhere here now the circle uh, what we've drawn already let's give it a gradient so go to fill here and then give it we give it a redial gradient so that we can see through now you can see through place it um, the place the circles in such a way that it's a bit evenly you see this thing here that is our thing and then we move this a bit here it's not necessary um, it's perfect but just for it to be aligned a bit like this i think it's okay you can also go to shift control and make your circle just a little bigger if you want i make mine a little bigger so i get some other things going around there now what i will do is that i want to take a, du a duplicate of this circle so i right click and take a duplicate now i bring my duplicates here now i will select this circle and go to shift and select the um, oh no one thing is i forgot one thing i had to group everything so let's remove our circle for now and um, i go back and then deselect everything and remove our circle for now i need to join all these two united so go to object and group yes now i can bring my circle back in there let's place it i think how i've placed my circle i'm satisfied with it now i go to with it selected i go to shift and select the um the design back there and then go to object clip and then set so now we have our ball but we need now we bring the circle here to put on it to get some kind of we want to give it some kind of gradient now come here and select go for your edit gradient tool and then with this center here let's change this to pure white here so it looks like more or less like light and then move this a bit up here so that we give it some it makes it looks like a 3d um, object more or less now we are, we are done with that I uh, let's check whether it looks good yes i think it's okay now we would um i go now again for my circle and ellipse tool and then let's draw something like this something to we want to give it a bit of shadow so with this done um let's give this uh, a feel of maybe 50 percent gray or less and then we would then give it a blur a bit so we come here and let's um give it a, a blur a bit something like this i would say not very much something like this i think is okay let me check and see 
whether it looks good yeah i think so you can reduce it yours a bit if you want or something like that and then after you can select everything and then go to um object group and then this is how you can draw a ball in inkscape thank you for watching please help my channel by subscribing or if this helped you in any way give the video a like thank you bye